Well, the Thunderbird aerial demonstration team is set to headline this year's Star Spangled Salute Air Show at Tinker Air Force Base later this month. Joining me now with more on this year's event is the event's announcer, Daniel Stroud. Well, this is the first time we've had the event in a few years. What's been the holdup? I've done all of the Tinker Star Spangled Salutes, and the last one we did was in 2010. And it takes so darn much planning and so much financing from both uh, military and civilian sponsors that uh, they decided to go to an every other year format. So they waited a couple of years, and that was about the time that sequestration and uh, the economy started taking a hit. So they literally uh, lost the jet teams. Uh, the Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels were actually allowed to practice, but they weren't allowed to go to any air shows. And that pretty much shut down a whole lot of large air shows. So it's taken this long to get everybody back up to speed. We got approval from the Thunderbirds to come to another Tinker show, and it's just simply taken that long and to get the financing. Now, a lot of the financing from the Star Spangled Salute came from sponsors like, like my friends at the Oklahoma Aeronautics Commission. We're a big sponsor for a Star Spangled Salute, but it's taken a lot of other sponsors as well to pay for the acts. And even the Thunderbirds, even though it's a military team coming to a military base, they're not cheap. You have to get hotel rooms and cars and workout rooms and all kinds of things to get them to your base. But they also bring in a huge crowd. And uh, at the 2010 show, we had over 160,000 people in a two-day show. It was the largest single event in Oklahoma history. Wow, that's a lot of eyes to the sky. It really is, yeah. really is. And uh, we're expecting somewhere between 100 and say 130,000 this year. Now you've been involved in the Star Spangled Salute for quite some time. Why do you think it's so important to do this? Oh, Rob, it's, uh, you know, the easy answer would be to say Tinker likes to have the public come out and, and enjoy themselves. but. Honestly, it's deeper than that, and most people don't even think about this, but it's sort of like bring your family to work day and see mom or dad or brother or sister or uncle or aunt at work. And to me, the Star Spangled Salute is one of those rare times when the family gets to come out and see what their loved ones actually do. So the one question probably everyone's wanting to hear, when is it and how can they get involved? It's uh, June 21st and 22nd. That's the weekend after Father's Day weekend. Uh, the gates open at uh, 9 o'clock, close at 6. And at 6 o'clock, everybody will go home. And if they want to come back Sunday, they can come back. And there will be some minor changes between Saturday and Sunday. But the Thunderbirds will fly both days. Team Tinker will be flying uh, both days. The World War II aircraft will be flying. All of our performers will be there both days. So you won't miss anything. They're going to have a, a couple of bands on stage for entertainment. Uh, oh, and we've got the Kid Zone. And that's pretty cool because the Aeronautics Commission is the sponsor of the Kid Zone. The kids will be able to come out and go into an inflatable and jump up and down and, and they'll have a good time too. As, uh, as well as us big kids that, that like airplanes. Well, Dan, I appreciate it. I like the inflatables by. too. <laughs> well, if, well, I'll get a shot of you <laughs> jumping around. All right, Dan. We appreciate you coming by. Sure. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate it.